So now we look at Southern District Health Board's District Nursing Service and how it benefits patients. Um, my name's Anna Kelly and I'm one of the district nurses in the team. I'm a registered nurse. Um, my job involves um, going out and seeing people in the community. Well, I am so one of the oncology haematology district nurses. Um, it's a one FTE position which is job shared between two of us so we work 0.5 each and I work mainly with the complex cancer patients in the community. I'm Angela Copeman and I'm the acting charge nurse manager for district nursing. Dunedin and my role within that is the day-to-day -day management of the district nursing service. I'm Debbie and I work in the district as an enrolled nurse with the rest of the, the district team for the Southern District Health Board. The service involves um, the care of patients in the community and the, um, we cover from south down to Henley, we go up to Middlemarch and then we go as far north as Shag Point. So it's quite a large geographical area that we cover. Um, most of that is within the urban spread, but we also have satellite services in Palmerston and Middlemarch. Our job um, varies tremendously day to day, so we see lots of different things throughout the day, from um, routine chronic wound care to post-operative wound care, and that includes things like um, bypass surgery, breast surgery, abdominal surgery, um, we also see IV in the community and we also do palliative and terminal care. A palliative care is a huge part of our work and that may start off with just supporting people in their homes but then it may extend into um, if people make a choice um, to pass away at home then we fully support those families um, right through to the end. So we sort of cover from basically birth to death really. That's sort of a, in a nutshell but we do quite a mix of things. I think that um, historically there has been an idea that we're sitting out there drinking cups of tea and eating scones but um, it's far from the truth. The girls are really really busy. Um, elderly people living on their own could be classed as being complex. Generally visit um, elderly patients actually, um, predominantly with chronic wounds. We do a lot of um, injections and blood sugar levels and bowel cares and teaching patients how to give themselves their injections and, and their, do their own blood sugar levels. I'm Lorna Fahey. Well I've had great service. I've, I started off with an ulcer and then um, they sent the nurses out and I've been, they've been coming for two years. It's a very stressful thing as well, getting a cancer diagnosis so putting in place things to um, just help people cope at home. We visit people from South Dunedin to Maori Hill to, to down the bay, so lots of different living standards and living conditions. We really get to meet lots of different people and we can see the kinds of pressures that people are under and it's really a privilege, I think. My name's Bridget Evans and I have been privileged to have been acquainted with the many girls um, in the district nursing team. I've had a chronic wound um, the girls have been caring for that wound for just under two and a half years. It's been a very long journey, but without the girls and their love and their support and their dedication, I would not probably be sitting here. We see and meet so many different people and it's in their home, so it's not in the hospital environment, which is a kind of a, a very different environment. The girls are professional in every way. Oh, they're just amazing and they have kept me out of hospital. I do think there are lots of benefits of um, patients staying in their homes. They do feel more comfortable, they're more open, they are more relaxed, they're, they're healthier, there's less chance of them getting more infections that, and they have, they have a role in, in their care. We're more in a partnership of care I think because we're, we're treating on their territory. So on an average day um, most nurses would be going out on the road with around about anywhere between 10 and 14 patients each, which is, is a significant number when you think that they have to drive to every patient. You might be dealing with something very sad and, mm. and then you move on to someone else and, and so you've got to sort of hold it together, mm. yes, and mm. to move on. On each given month we would see between 3,700 to 4,000 patient contacts 
and they are um, driven by referrals, so our average referral rate would be around about 270 to 300 referrals. Most of our referrals come from the hospital, but we also get referrals from the GP and other medical practices. My best part of my job is people are so different. It's really nice going into people's homes and seeing how people live and and, there, and getting out and about during the day. It's a privilege going into other people's homes and being able to do my job. And generally, I try to make somebody's day every day. And I think it's a fantastic service, and I think most people that we see really value what we do, and, and it's, it's lovely. They just welcome us into our home. Again, that's part of the privilege of our job. I think we just come on, walk into their homes and their lives and their families, and they let us do that. I think that's a huge privilege. Giving people an alternative option so that they can make a choice that's actually better, sooner and more convenient for them. And um, moving into the future in terms of keeping people out in the community or pulling people out of the hospital, that's going to become even more paramount and um, we're ready for it.